Hey beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys my recipe for mushroom cauliflower fried rice. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications when I post a new video. And if you are on Facebook, search for Kim All Natural to join our support group for tips, to ask questions, and to get support. So the ingredients for the recipe are very straightforward. You're going to need one-fourth um, scallions or green onions. Three stalks would be enough and just chop them all the way up to the leaves. One-fourth um, cup chopped onions or shallots. Um, if you're using shallots, you'll probably need half a cup or just one shallot, but this was about a cup of a regular yellow onion. Six to eight mushrooms um, wiped clean and diced. Um, one and a half cups of mung bean sprouts. Um, for my spices, I'm going to be using ginger because I don't have ginger root here. So I'm improvising black pepper, cayenne pepper, sea salt. For my oils, I'm going to be using coconut oil and sesame oil and soy sauce and also I have some minced garlic here. And you can use um, regular cooked, one day old cooked um, rice, um, but I have to eat paleo now, doctor's orders, so I'm using cauliflower rice. If you don't want to buy the rice already, cauliflower already diced up in rice form, you can just pulse cauliflower in your blender a few times for it to get to this consistency. All right, let's get started. All right, the first step is to heat a nonstick pan or wok in medium to high heat. Once that's hot, we're gonna add our oils. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sesame oil. And since I do not have canola oil, I'm adding one teaspoon of coconut oil because coconut oil does not really burn well on high heat. And plus, it has a similar texture to canola. And um, so this is just me trying to make up for that flavor profile. But if you do have canola oil, do one tablespoon sesame, one tablespoon canola. I'm gonna lather the entire pan. And once that's hot, we're going to grab um, two tablespoons of, well actually, add your shallots, and then you're gonna add your mushrooms. We're gonna saute our mushrooms and our shallots for about um, two minutes, or until the mushrooms are cooked down and the shallots or the onions or whatever you're using is um, translucent. Once that's done, we're gonna add our ginger. I don't have fresh ginger, so I'm substituting um, using in replacement two teaspoons of ground ginger. And I'm using a half teaspoon right now, so I'm gonna be adding this in four times. And once we're done with our ginger, we're gonna add our garlic. I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of minced garlic. I pre-mince all my garlic so it's easier for cooking, so I'm just using the last of mine. Then we're gonna add our peas. I totally forgot to list this in the beginning, so definitely add your peas. And then your rice, so mix in your peas with the garlic and the ginger, and then grab your rice, whichever you chose to use. That can be cauliflower rice, white rice, whichever. I'm making two, two cups of cauliflower rice. So I'm using a half cup right now in the video. Once we add the rice, we're going to saute until rice is fully colored. Um, so it looks like fried rice. Um, oh, before that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Soy sauce has a lot of salt. This is a low sodium version, but it's still a lot of salt. A healthier alternative will be coconut amino acids from Bragg's. Um, I'm getting rid of my soy sauce, so I'll use that in the future. Then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of ground pepper. 
You can, I, I know I listed cayenne in the beginning. You can add that as well if you like a little bit more heat. I'm not gonna add it because I wanna just see how it tastes without it. And then next time I make it, I can definitely add more heat to it. Now once all the ingredients are together, we're gonna push them to the side and we're gonna pour in our beet eggs. So I totally forgot to list that in the beginning. <laughs> so you're gonna grab two to three eggs, whichever you prefer, and beat them to death. <laughs> and then you're gonna pour it into that, um, that little um, side of the pan where you freed space. Pour them in and then let them sit for like a few seconds and then start mixing them all together with the rice so that the um, eggs naturally break down and are fully um, um, contained within the rice. And just make sure you're breaking down the egg and mixing it um, pretty evenly within the food so that you have a good chunk of egg in a spoonful, <laughs> in every spoonful. Once that's done, I'm gonna add half, um, well, half of my scallions or green onions and then all of my bean sprouts, my mung bean sprouts. Then we're just gonna mix that until Everything is pretty much um, there if you take a spoonful. Now the last thing to do is to salt to taste. Um, because soy is pretty salty, regardless if it's low sodium, I'm literally putting like a pinch of salt. Um, yeah, I am so terrified of salt, you guys. Um, I hate salt. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. And that's it. And here it is. I definitely will suggest pairing this with more vegetables. And if you want to add more proteins, um, some chicken, Asian style chicken, um, it, you can serve it with extra soy sauce or duck sauce. Um, I'm not serving it with either. Let me know how it came out. Hey, it's Kim here. Thank you so much again for tuning into this channel. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Do you want me to talk about something specific? Please leave a comment below, either if you're on Facebook, Instagram, or on YouTube. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to post it. Thanks for tuning in.